oh, we talk about it, we hear about it, we see it on Facebook. The buzz is all about our new section of Sun City that's being developed. Argent East, East Argent, and you'll be hearing about a new name that it will be tagged. Now, today, Tanya Flanagan, our HOA board president, plus a manager, senior manager for Pulte, will be addressing the Low Country Happenings Group. Tune in to hear what she's got to say about our upcoming projects that we'll be enjoying. Welcome everyone and thank you very much for having me today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we've got great new exciting things happening over, drum roll please, Sun City West. So I think that's great, Sun City West. Well, it's really East is on the West, so that's why it's Sun City West. <laughs> so it, um, that actually came hot off the press today for me as I was coming from Charleston, so I wanted to make sure that you all um, had the information and knew that. Um, also, this is being recorded. Um, I know some folks I saw had phones out taking pictures and things of that nature. Um, we have our great Sun City TV here today, and they're filming it. Um, the presentation, I'm also going to make sure that they have that. Our neighborhood reps have that as well, Iraq, and then of course, um, Low Country Happenings as well, um, so that this can get distributed out to everyone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, um, we put out, we Pulte put out a video um, about eight months, seven, eight months ago. I wanna replay that though, um, because I do feel that it gives a lot of details and information that you as homeowners um, are gonna ask. Um, again, it was out a little while ago. Um, you saw it, it was, wow, new toy, this is awesome. Um, but maybe you haven't gone back to it and now questions are coming up. So I wanna share this with you. Again, this is going out, so you will have it. Um, and then that way it'll answer some questions and then we'll go um, on a little bit further from that. We are thrilled to announce we are now selling in Sun City Hilton Head's newest extension. The additional 1,500 homes will be located on a new campus within Sun City Hilton Head and will feature a brand new state-of-the-art amenity complex. We are so excited to add to our impressive amenity offerings and can't wait to show you what we have planned. There is no shortage of things to do when living in Sun City Hilton Head. What more could we add? Let us show you. The expansive amenity complex will include multiple buildings, a resort-style pool, sport courts, and an amphitheater. Let's take a closer look. Have a favorite local band or music genre? Or is there a popular movie you can't wait to see? Picture yourself gathering at the private community amphitheater with friends and neighbors for a special movie night under the stars. Get an up-close view or experience the entertainment from the nearby fire pit. The year-round mild temperatures in the Low Country area are perfect for enjoying fun outdoor events. Speaking of the outdoors, we plan to provide a resort-style pool bringing the total to eight pools within Sun City Hilton Head. Can you picture yourself enjoying this tropical oasis that includes a lushly landscaped pool deck, complete with cabanas for shade and relaxation? Choose to spend your time on the Baja shelf in the pool with lounge chairs dipped in the shallow water or enjoy floating in the pool for a sun-filled relaxing afternoon. Whether it's an early morning swim, gathering with friends in the swim-up seating area or an afternoon of leisure, the pool area provides an option for everyone. Let's check out the interior spaces next. Inside, on the east side of the building, you'll discover three multi-purpose rooms available for the 150-plus social groups and clubs to gather. In addition, those areas can be combined into one larger space big enough to host up to 500 people with the adjacent catering kitchen and bar area, which can be opened up to the pool deck for drink service to the outside. Take advantage of the sliding panoramic doors that allow the space to open onto the pool deck and covered porch. Once the party is over, take some time to rejuvenate and practice self-care. We've planned a spa retreat experience in the west side of the clubhouse building. Enjoy a relaxing hot stone or aromatherapy massage after a long day of golf or pickleball. Looking for something competitive but more low-key? You'll love the new game room. Grab your paddle and join friends in the game room for a lively game of ping pong. Rounding out the clubhouse space are two additional multi-purpose rooms for more events or activities. 
The use of these rooms are limited only by the imagination of our homeowners. Let's shift our focus to the two-story fitness club of our Sun City Hilton Head Amenity Edition. First, let's tour everything included on the first floor. Let's explore the impressive gymnasium plan with room for indoor tennis or basketball, volleyball and pickleball games. Play your favorite games indoors, allowing you to stay active no matter what time of the year and enjoy spacious locker rooms. Finally, the first floor will include an indoor pool and spa for swimming laps, indoor aqua aerobics or water fitness classes. Wait until we show you our plans for the second floor. On one side, you can expect a unique amenity never before offered in Sun City Hilton Head, an indoor track. You'll also discover ellipticals, treadmills and bikes on the inside of the track, allowing you to observe the games taking place on the floor below. Watch a game with a view from above, or throw a party in the large court space. Transitioning to the next feature, we are pleased to offer a fitness room with weight machines for strength training. You'll enjoy the convenience of accessing the equipment you want when you want it. Our intent with the entire fitness area of the building is to have a functional studio and a group studio for spin classes, yoga and movement classes, allowing more opportunities to focus on your health and wellness. The excitement is building in this new area of Sun City Hilton Head, which will also offer commercial space along Argent Boulevard, along with walking trails and pocket parks throughout. While the new campus will have its share of perks, we are thrilled to be able to provide connectivity to the existing campus for the impressive existing amenities. So hop in your golf cart for a ride across the planned pedestrian and golf cart bridge for a softball tournament or game of golf. Maybe you plan to meet friends at one of three restaurants for dinner and drinks. No matter your interests, Sun City Hilton Head provides the variety and luxury you desire in your new home community. All right, um, I've been working on this property for almost 25 years now, and just seeing the community from this viewpoint, the nature trail, the golf courses, you know, the river bend, uh, all of that, it never amazes me just how beautiful this community really is. Um, it, it's, it just, it's near and dear to my heart, um, and I'm very, very excited for all of the, this new, these new wonderful toys to come your guys' way. Um, for a few of these, I've just um, have still shots from the um, architects on some of the new amenities. So again, this is the pool area. Um, this is the amphitheater. Um, just a shot of the main building, looking at that um, in the pull-up area. Uh, this would be the indoors you come in, the main lobby. And this, I think, is going to be great, especially for these larger neighborhoods and these larger clubs. Um, we're always hearing, you know, hey, we need some space. We have a very large group. This area, this ballroom here will seat 500 people. So I think that's going to be tremendous. Um, it also will have a catering kitchen, um, but we're kind of future proofing it as well. So in the future, if the um, association decides to turn it into an actual restaurant, they're going to be able to do that. Um, so I think that's so important. And the other thing with lifestyle, you can move those doors open and have the indoor and outdoor door as just one big event. Um, so the uh, possibilities are absolutely endless. Um, and so, uh, you know, this is the other building, which is the fitness center. Um, that's uh, the rendering of what it will look like. Um, that's coming into the lobby area. Um, again, we'll have an upstairs track as well. So you guys can do the walking um, during the, um, if the weather's just not that great. Um, or we know how it is in August here. Um, it may be a little bit too hot. Uh, so uh, again, we've been working very diligently with uh, fitness experts um, in the field, especially um, knowing the audience that we're speaking to is making sure that what we offer is going to be what is expected and what you need. Another question, of course, is that the bridge, for the, as they said in that video, the continuity, um, there's a shot of that. This is pretty cool because um, as I spoke earlier um, to Sun City TV, they're not, they, South Carolina DOT is not going to let anyone shut down Argent Boulevard. So it's like, how do you go ahead and put this bridge 
over Argent Boulevard. So what's happening is this is actually being built. The bridge is getting built almost like an erector set and it will come. They'll, we'll have the uh, footings and the pylons done and then they will just come in and drop that on there and hook it all up. So it's pretty amazing on what's going to happen. We're having a big party then. Yeah, I really want to see it. I, I, I think that's going to be absolutely amazingly cool. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we'll party. Yeah, so um, this is Del Webb, work in uh, progress. So I wanted to show, show you a little bit of what's happening now. Um, so this is a picture of the current activities. So the sports club, uh, they prepped and bent the rebar for the foundation. And in that top picture, you can kind of see that. And then they've also, um, as of, I just received the update. So I updated this, um, this um, uh, slide. The foundation for the sports center has also been poured. Um, they're starting the rough grade for the clubhouse and then over the next 30 days finishing um, the sport Well, I should have taken that out because that's already been done about 70% um, They're working on the transformer pads out there the clubhouse electrical and plumbing for the slab and they're going to begin the pool ex excavation um, so that'll be <coughs> happening over the next 30 days um, I've also been working um, with the marketing team on Pulte's end and um, the general contractor, the GC, for who's building these facilities, um, they send updates out. So we're going to work in collaboration with them. I have an activities, um, I'm an activities, an amenity person that focuses just on the buildings. So we're all going to work together with marketing to make sure that we get updates out to you guys. Um, so we're looking at probably every two months to quarterly um, with a building this size or buildings this size. Um, having more than that, you're really not going to see a whole lot of big progress. So we think that time frame would be good. And of course, we'll share that with the entire community. Um, one of the big questions is projected timeline schedule. And again, we will send this out to the universe for everybody to see. Uh, the Greeter Cottage, look for that June, July um, time frame. Uh, one of the things with, I don't know if any of you have been over there, but the really large timbers that are out there, they had um, these special um, detailed decorative kind of um, brackets that the architect used. Um, those took a long time for lead time, so that did put about a two-week delay, three-week delay on that. Those are in now, um, but they've been diligently working inside the building. The bridge. Yeah, where is it? Where, where is all this on that land? The cottage, the greeter's cottage, that's the guard shack as you go in. That building that's right there in the middle, that's the greeter cottage on that main road going over into there. Um, the bridge, which is what was shown just a few minutes ago, um, diligently pushing for that to be done and installed by fourth quarter, the end of this year, 2024, or the very, very beginning of 2025. Um, the amenity is projecting to be the uh, first quarter of 2026. And then another question that, um, Wayne, you would be even posed as well, and we've heard from some other residents, was the paving of that entry road. Um, that's going to be June or July of this year, 2024, and that will be from Argent Boulevard all the way down past the Greeter's Cottage up to that first road, um, and possibly far further, maybe to the dog park, but that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, this is the, the entrance not off of that road right there that Riverton is there, not this one. No, this is the main road of going into the community of that of uh, uh, Sun City West. That would be that main entrance going in. Across from William Jasper. Across from William Jasper, off, or off or right off of Argent Boulevard, where they've been doing the widening and where the, uh, the um, expansion of the roadway, that type of thing has gone. Yes, sir. Is the bridge still going to be a golf cart accessible bridge? Yes, it's golf cart and pedestrian. Yes, the bridge is going to be both golf cart and um, pedestrian accessible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To get across to Argent is very difficult. Is there a projected timeline for a stoplight? Um, the question, um, just to make sure that this is captured on Sun City TV as well, is about the lights. Um, Pulte did get approval to have the lights installed, but South Carolina DOT is the determining factor on when those can actually be installed. Um, so we did get approval, and that is no easy task to get a light. 
Uh, Pulte did get approval for that, but DOT determines when those actually can go in. There is actually going to be two permanent lights put in. One is going to be at 170, I'm sorry, at 278 and Argent Boulevard. That's been approved by SCDOT. The other one is, as we said, where the golf cart bridge is going to be, that's going to be a complete intersection. And there are going to be temporary lights put up along Argent Boulevard and all the way to 170 Oldfield. So they're, they're, they will be coming as well. Um, and that's separate. This is the county or whatever municipality that those would fall within. Yes, ma'am? My question is, why isn't that bridge being constructed for cars also? The question is, why is that bridge not being constructed for cars as well? Um, in order for that to happen, the reach and the length that that would have to go would um, it would truly be tremendous um, and also you cannot do something like this where you're able to build something off-site and put it um, you know put it in the way we're able to you wouldn't be able to do that with a vehicular uh, bridge it would have to be like Millennium Bridge yeah bridge. yeah it won't hold it won't it w th that's the reason why yes sir comment uh, on the comment that was made there about commercial development on Argent Boulevard? Uh, the question is the commercial development on Argent Boulevard. Uh, keep in mind that this, the, that property there um, belongs to a, another developer and that front section is not part of Del Webb, Sun City, it's not, you know, Pulte didn't purchase it. Um, so that will be depicted on one, what the PUD agreement is, the um, PUD, and um, you know what type of facilities or uh, commercial buildings would want to come. Typically, when you build a Sun City, they will come because they know that they've got a great patronage of you as homeowners being there and residents. Um, so that would not be something that would fall under Pulte's purview, uh, you know, or or the the board or the the the, P, the municipality would be the one approving um, what type of buildings go in there. Define what what area that is. Right, the frontage. Yeah, that frontage. So that, right on, right by Argent Boulevard, that frontage area. Yes, sir. Yep. So our entryway's behind it. Yeah, and, and again, I'm going to send this, this out, and that video shows that and depicts that in that video, the, that section. Yes. Yes, sir. Two questions. Yep. Uh, with the pool, yep. uh, why did they drop the plans for the Lazy River? Uh, uh, the, uh, so the question one was why did they drop the plans for the lazy river um, just based on design there really wasn't enough push for the, the water to be a lazy river I will go back and find out if there's going to be um, uh, like resistance basically for walking so I'll check if that's something that is being added uh, would you write that down for me if you don't sure terribly will. mind um, to check that and you had one other yeah, one the other one is a quick one the picture that you depicted on there uh, with the uh, bridge yeah what, the sign the Del Webb sign underneath it it says grocery what, what is that? Uh, okay the question just again so they have it is the the signage it, um, on the depiction it said grocery that was just a rendering that is not going to be on that that will probably um, usually again municipalities limit the signage that can be out front so that probably part of that agreement was you had to have a space for whatever goes in there. Yes, ma'am. One of my concerns is it is so difficult now to get tickets to things at May. Okay, wait, you're switching to, you're switching to Sun City. We're just talking about Pulte right now. The tickets is a Sun City issue. And remember, we've got a, a building that's going to seat 500 people, that outdoor pool, so there will be a, a, abilities for um, expanding the lifestyle. Yes, ma'am. So I do have a question. I've heard that they don't have outside lighting for the pooling and the amphitheater going in, and we can't do events if that doesn't happen. Um, I can check into the amphitheater. I'm not aware of that um, part of it. Uh, They're going together, right? They're right by the side. Right, but there's different. So an amphitheater, what is what's needed for something like that is much different than what is needed for nighttime swimming at a pool. Nighttime swimming at a pool, you basically have to light it up like a um, like a football field, um, very very bright. Um, so I, I can check on that. Um, uh, 
and Tab's helping me out. She's writing that down. Yes, ma'am, in the white. Can you explain what uh, the lanes would be on Argent where this bridge is going over? How many lanes would have for turning The question was on Argent Boulevard, the uh, the turning lane. Pulte did pay for the expansion to make sure that that though there are turning lanes for Sun City folks. Um, so that was done at Pulte's dime to do that expansion. One lane each way. Uh, on the on Argent, it's not going to be a two lane. Remember that road belongs to DOT, South Carolina DOT. So Pulte went ahead and spent the money to do an escalation lane and a de deceleration lane for uh, the, the homeowners. Yes, sir. The uh, upstairs of the amenity uh, center, the walking track, running track, and the equipment up there, is there going to be a access other than stairs to get upstairs? Yes, and that's a very good question. Um, the question is, is there going to be access, ADA basically accessible? There is an elevator that is in this facility for um, an access other than just the stairway. Yes, ma'am. bar. Yeah. So there, the the bar um, that's going to be dependent on what the association wants to do at whatever point in time. It is going to be set to be a functional bar if that at some point in time the association just like the rush the catering kitchen if they wish to turn that into a functional you know everyday or event bar. It's set up to be either. Um, again, we're trying to future-proof it for um, the association and lifestyle event. Like a cash bar from the pool or something? The question is, it's going to be a cash bar. At this point in time, I would think that the association lifestyles would look at that to determine what would be the best uh, use of that um, at the very beginning. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the equipment that's going to be put in the amenity center, the, the uh, treadmills and all that, and that this is another great question so the question is the fitness equipment and really everything this is going to be turned over fully furnished everything in there and the keys will be basically turned over to the association so all fitness equipment all furnishings will be done on Pulte it will not be done um, based on the association's funds uh, Pulte is spending the money to build this Pulte is spending the money to furnish this, and then they will deed it over to the association. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you know how many courts, pickleball courts, and things would be outside? Oh, I should have looked at that. I knew that question was going to come. <laughs> I know there's three additional tennis courts. I for, oh, I'm sorry. How many pickleball courts um, are going to be added? I know there's three tennis. It's either six, I think, or maybe eight. But I six or eight. Six or eight. But Tab will write that down, and I'll make sure that I get that back to you. It's one. Or, thank you, Tab. I really appreciate it. Um, any other questions? Yes, sir. In the back, right there. Uh, okay. Uh, I've been told by um, Securitas that since we're not a gated community yet, that we should ask Pulte uh, for a partial refund on our HOA fee. Um, I doubt for that's what? been said. Um, but again, this is going to be. Did he say? That a refund in their HOA fees. Oh. So let me just, I'm gonna go take my badge off and talk to the board member for a minute. Your HOA fee reflects a contract with Securitas at this moment, mm -hmm. not what we're gonna have to add for East Argent or Argent West. Yes, so West. Sun City West. West. <laughs> yeah, it's for our current Securitas force. Yeah, no rebate. Yes, sir, in the back. Two questions. No. One. The pickleball and tennis courts are going to be lit, correct? Yes, pickleball and tennis courts are going to be lit, yes. And two, what happened to the original timeline? Uh, <laughs> we'll have the amenities built before any homes are occupied. Yeah. I, that, I never remembered hearing that. That was never, sir, it was never part of the discussion. But, so think about this. Wait, let's think about this. So. If that were the case and this amenity would be built before anyone moved in there, one, every single one of the homeowners would wind up having to uh, pay more for that. I've never been any development where an amenity of this size does not wait for a certain area to be um, uh, residents to move in and population to develop before that happened. Every discussion I've ever had in here has, has said that it would be going as the development occurred, and that is what's happening now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. 
I don't know whether you're going to be able to answer this question, but there are three or four empty lots at the end of Blue Jay. Yep. When are these houses going to be built? They're directly behind me. And I know you're building a bridge, and I'm thinking that might be the delay. But yeah, the question is there's three or four empty lots on Blue Jay, and when would those be developed? Um, one of those lots, or at least one of those lots, is going to be part of where the bridge is. Once that bridge is finished, then those other lots will go up for sale and then start construction on them at that point in time. Any other questions? Yes, sir. I think I know the answer to this, but... I'm going to really try. <laughs> you always hear that, okay, after this is done, Pulte will be leaving, right? <laughs> uh, we, we know that's never going to happen, but... Yeah, I've been here 25 years, by the way. <laughs> I can live here now. <laughs> She's old enough to have to are, are the plans in the works to go beyond Argent West? I can only say I have not heard that as of yet. Um, if you see trees and things of that nature, there's always a possibility, but that has not hit Tanya's ears as of yet. <laughs> You know, I always say at every meeting, at 3.30 on March 15th, right. the answer is no. Right. At 3.35, it could be yes. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. Another question. You mentioned uh, green space and walking trails. Are they going to be provided on Argent West? So the green space and walking trails, yes. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, open space, uh, pocket parks, that type of thing, uh, trails that will be over um, in, our, in Sun City West. <laughs> I mean, it's going to take me a few minutes, too. <laughs> Thanks for catching me. Yes. One more question. Um, the EV, are you thinking of doing any charging stations for EV? <laughs> that, that has been a question. Um, one, it's gone back and forth. One, it, you know, if those are installed, who's going to pay for them it, as far as the charging? It's the association. Another aspect that you look at as well is if something were to functionally happen, with those charging stations, that's a liability for the association. So at this time, we have not looked into, th that is not something that's gonna be installed. Did you have a question, sir? You're like, no. <laughs> in, um, yes, yellow in the back. What's the material of the flooring and the tennis court? The, the tennis court flooring, um, I will double check on that. I know that all the other courts are hard true, so I will verify if that's going to be the case. They're hard true, but they're outdoor. Correct. You're talking about the indoor court? Oh, okay. Um, it'll be a wood floor that's cushioned basically for that type of, of um, application. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the outdoor. Yes, sir. The gates in the back? Yep. They're going to be um, yes, that was on there. The gates in the back, the gate, you're talking about the gates off of that, I forget what that one road is. Yeah, um, let me verify that. Those should be coming live soon. Um, and then the greeter's cottage or guardhouse, however you want to word that, that should be done June, uh, June, July of this year. Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'll get you in a minute. People from other neighborhoods are coming so a question was that um, we believe that there might be other folks coming to the dog park utilizing that um, what we can do work with security to kind of maybe just patrol that a little bit more because as tab mentioned um, the association is paying for security to be over there um, again that'll help once those gates and everything um, are, are op more operational and stuff that will help alleviate that. Um, but we can talk to um, uh, the IT person as well, maybe with the association to see if there's some ideas for that as well. Uh, there was a lady, yes. <laughs> Couple questions. The bridge. Yep. On the, on, um, what are we? <laughs> Sun City North. Yes. Yes. We already have a gate there. Is there going to be a guard gate there when the bridge goes up, or are we still going to be just gates? Uh, so when you go over the bridge, there, you, you, on the you. North side. On the north side. Oh, yes, no, because that's a resident only entry gate on, on that one. So that's only resident only, yes. Okay. Second question that bridge comes over Argent mm -hmm. from Argent, from Sun City. West, <laughs> over Argent, yeah. okay, into the north side. Yep. 
from the rendering that I saw, the golf carts and pedestrians will have to stop, cross traffic, Correct. And this is a good question. That's being developed right now so and, and modified. So the question is, based on the rendering, not sure that was seen, it looked like it, for lack of a better word, dumped the traffic coming from Sun City West over Argent into Sun City North. It dumped traffic, pedestrians in a golf cart, in a not so good situation. All of that is being evaluated um, on um, improving that area so that it is a better functionality for pedestrians and golf carts. Yeah, we haven't had an issue with people not stopping yeah. the crosswalk. That's like an accident. So, so that, that is being, that's being evaluated and reconfigured okay. with the bridge. Um, yes? Hey, I'm not sure this is an appropriate question, but I'm new for County Bluffton 29909. I have no idea what the mailing address is. So the question is the mailing address. So we work very closely with the, uh, the U.S. Postal Service. What's it going to be in the third step? I'm not sure what the actual, like, 29909, 29910. I'm not sure what that configuration is going to be. Um, I could look it up. Tab could write it down. But we have been working with the U.S. Postal Service for it to be the same carrier working on all of Sun City. Up to the post. Yeah, that's up to the postal service. Yes, ma'am. Confused. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about the new things that you t that you showed us and that you talked about, but I have concerns about the things that we currently have that um, existing. Pulte said they're impressive amenity. They're going to add to the impressive amenity offerings that we already have over here. That means all those people are going to want to come over here for for events and classroom kind of things. <laughs> We don't have enough room now at the Embassy Craft Center, and then we're going to be, you know, bringing more people over, more interest. Why is Tolkien not putting something on the other side that has some rooms that will hold other sides of people besides the five? So, so um, when the Embassy Center was built way back when Del Webb initially was developed, um, they did have some dedicated spaces for certain. Um, hobbies, for lack of a better word. Um, that mindset has changed tremendously over the last 30, 20 to 30 years. Um, most of the facilities now have multi-purpose rooms, so those rooms can be used in multiple types of different scenarios, so you don't have a dedicated space to allow more functionality in each and every room over there. Okay, so the rooms that you're putting in are going to be able to hold 50 people. We're going to be able to switch from rooms over here to go to rooms over there so that we have more room where we have a meeting with 50 to 75 people in it. Well, and, and um, as I mentioned just a little while ago, the, the ballroom itself holds over 500 people. Um, there are multiple multi-purpose rooms in there with T and everything else. So, yes, looking towards the future, looking for, um, um, you know, space. Availability, yes, that is happening over there with all of those that that big building. I imagine it's going to have a movable wall. Yeah, it, the, the ballroom absolutely has a movable wall, wall, but it also has like we as the Sun City Association and existing uh, buildings have the different rooms that are available for multi-purpose. That's absolutely going to be included in that in that building. Uh, next question, yes, sir. The side gate on New River, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. side gate, uh, that's designed to uh, allow exit of bicycles, but not entrance of bicycles. Uh, is that going to be reconfigured on the association's dime, or is Pulte going to reconfigure it so bicycles can enter? Um, I will, would you write that down? Typically, what they do with that is, I'm sorry, please. Um, Usually what they do, it's just a smaller gate arm. That's all that's um, involved in that. Um, but I'll, ta I'll have them take a look at that. Got it. Yes, sir. Hey, do you have the design of the tennis and pickleball courts um, configured yet? So if you do six courts instead of eight courts, they lay out differently? Um, we do have a configuration, and um, I would be happy to send me an email. I'd be happy to um, sit down and let you kind of 
muse over those a little bit, um, we can definitely do that. And do you have a timeline for it? Um, you, what? I don't want to let too much of a cat out of the bag. No, we don't. I mean, we, we're trying to build the amenity centers and all of that. Um, if there's a possibility of maybe doing that and having that opened um, at an earlier date, that's always, always looked at. But safety is paramount, and that's what's looked at first. Yes? Yep. Yep. Well, to date, right now, we've had 105 close, and then we have a hot, right at 150 that have sold. So that's what, right around 250 ish, somewhere around in there. Um, so, so that's it's the typical projection that we've have as as far as well, how many do we do? 165. About 165 is what we look at. 165, 165 per, per year. year. Is yep. A and we do that too on even if there's like a, a you know a huge influx of sales um, for just the man the construction managers, field managers, the trades to be able to build build. Uh, we, we do slow that down on when those come out the gate um, just so they're not overwhelmed so that they kind of have a continuity or, or workflow that's um, doable for the team. Yes, ma'am. I think that the question back there about the, the amenities here, the arts, all the art centers and stuff like that, I think, I guess my question is these <coughs> to get into either the ceramics or the stained glass or any of the others is months down the road, just like the woodworkers. So these are already filled to the max. Amen. And then if you add the additional 3,000 or 2,000 plus, um, uh -oh, they're going to have to go over there. What? What rooms are going to be? Because you cannot change a ceramics situation out of a ceramic situation. That doesn't work. Neither the glass or, or any of those real art centers that are equipped for their particular thing. So what is... Well, and keep in mind, just because you have people coming in doesn't mean that all, you know, 1,500 homes are want to, going to want to do pottery. Not 1,500 homes are going to want to do stained glass. That's not going to happen. And, and we also, this is a really an association type question as well, is um, how are those rooms to really being utilized? Um, and is the times optimal? Do they have enough times open for that type of use? Um, the, the, there's, there's more questions that go along with that. Um, I can say I work with Dell Webs up and down the coast, um, and they do not have dedicated space, never had dedicated space. And they do a lot of the things that they do stained glass. I've seen them do pottery and then take it to a place where they do the, the, you know, the kilns and things like that. So there are opportunities. And not everyone, again, is going to want to do some. There's other things available that they may want to do as well. Yes, ma'am, in the back. And, and, and I appreciate that, but this is how that's going to be built. And that's, I mean, it's, it, that it is what it, I, I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, that's, that's the design. That's a design that's being, you know, that's a, more of a standard with every builder is being able to have a multifunctional class. Not only that, if you dedicate space for every single club, every single interest group, what is that going to happen to the usage of the buildings, the amount of building space that you have, and what the spend is going to be as well. Yes, sir, in the back. As a homeowner for over six months in Del Webb West, <laughs> I can appreciate all the amenities that I've been afforded. I have never been excluded because of the room. I have never been um, treated like I didn't belong. <clears throat> and I invite all of you who um, don't live in Del Webb West to be a little bit patient, 
and come and enjoy our amenities when they're ready. We would love to have it. Touche. Touche. Very good point, sir. Thank you very much. And welcome. We're very glad to have you. Um, any other questions? Yes, sir, in the back. Are there any plans to create a golf, fourth golf course? No, and no, and no. Um, it is a tremendous expense also for the association. I mean, literally astronomically expensive to run a golf course. So the $6 million dollars in our budget. Our golf courses are a $6 million budget center. And the answer is a hard no. <laughs> Do you want to say that again? It's a hard no. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> He brought up the golf course. So the question is the softball field. Um, again, there's space over there. Utilize it as best you can. I, I've had, I've had, I've had the softball club come and ask as well. So um, again, you, it's not. It's not. Not in the plan today. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oop. Be careful. Magnolia Hall. <laughs> so the okay, let me. Do, let, I'm going to put my Sun City hat on. Um, Magnolia Hall. We just talked about this at our last work session. There's 545 seats, give or take, and we do three nights of a show, and they sell out. Except the April one is not sold out. Right. It's first come, first serve. We use um, what's it? Thunder, Thunder Ticks. Ticks. So it's not some fly-by-night company. It's Thunder Ticks. And just like they do at the New York Mets or the theater down the Coastal Theater, first come, first serve. I understand people are waiting to put their credit card in and the seats are gone. Yes. As Kayla says, it's milliseconds. Somebody put their number before you, the seats are gone. We're never going to have enough seats, ever, ever, ever. And so we're all just going to fight each other. I can't even get seats. We're always in a board work session at 8 o'clock. So, it is what it is. Kayla's expanded it to three nights on most of them, and we're going to do the best we can. And don't forget, we're going to have an outside amphitheater if anybody wants to sit with the bugs and listen to music. <laughs> well, and I mean, my husband, it was funny because this came up, and Manchester United, the soccer team, and somebody else, Arsenal, I think it was, was in Atlanta. My husband was there trying to get the ticket, and it sold out in 26 seconds. He was furious, but um, it happens. So we're kind of under that same umbrella a little bit. Um, but it's a good problem to have. At least everyone likes uh, what's being, you know, um, offered, and that's great for Kayla, and it's great for the lifestyle team. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Oh. Very much yes. for, from the Sun City residents that want to do this. We're lucky. You don't realize what they're paying fifty to sixty thousand dollars for. They don't even have a power room. They don't have a computer pump. They don't have any of this. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate. I know we have hope. <laughs> We're always going to have issues, but if we can all think from the bottom of our hearts what we really have, I say thank you. Aww. It is a great place to live. It really, really, really is. Yes, Mr. Hooper back there. I'd like to echo that. And I think we don't realize, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think there is only one other Del Webb community that has anything that resembles the Magnolia. Yep. That's correct. That was built in the downturn right. of the business, but Pulte had committed it, and they stepped up to the plate, and they could have easily said, well, we'll do it later, because yeah. we're not making money. And they didn't. They built it. Yeah. And I think they deserve credit for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Any you. Questions? Any, I like to leave it on that note. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs>